Hey, what is up YouTube? Uh, just had a massive bit of rain. It wasn't like too massive, but it was, we haven't had any rain. So we haven't had much rain this year, um, but we are heading into winter, so it does make sense. But yeah, uh, it was really light, nice waking up to that. I, I kind of stepped in a little bit because of it. It's not an excuse. I kind of just wanted, I heard it rain, I was like, oh, that sounds nice. And decided to not be, be a little bit undisciplined and decided not to. But yeah, um, got my, not much on today. Gym, standard. And with the business, I remember talking about, I'm at the point, uh, I don't know what's happening with the business. I was really excited uh, to get it started. Then my friend started acting a bit weird, was kind of unresponsive, as I've talked about in a few other videos. And now, um, he got sick and I haven't really heard from him all week. And I understand he's sick, and if, if that sounds like things from what I have, the, the two, two dogs I have heard from him, he's been in, like in the bin. So I can't really, you know, say he's, it's a, he, like anything about that, like he's, he's sick, he's sick. But before the, the, the like the, basically the timeline was in terms of like when we started with idea, he was excited, just as excited. Second week, due to car issues, we didn't do, do anything. But then when I got my car back and everything, he was kind of avoiding me, but he's always like this, not even just to do business, just in general. He's really hard to get in contact with half the half of the year. And half of the year, he's easy. Not because he's busy, just because, well, sometimes, sometimes he is busy. I'm not saying he's not busy, um, but just because he just can't be bothered going on his phone much. It's fair enough, but like, at least respond when it's something, when it's something important. But anyway, I'm at the point now because I don't know what's going to actually happen with that or not. Uh, I'm going to start working on like an online side hustle until I hear back from him about what's going on. If he wants to do, if you want, uh, if he wants to do it or not. Um, so until then, I'm just going to work on like an online side hustle, something like dropshipping. I haven't really figured it out yet. I'm going to do a bit of research and figure out which one's best for me. But you know, you, if you're on the internet, you've probably heard of the um, typical online businesses that work, but you have to kind of be. So I'm a bit cold. I'm just sitting outside to enjoy the nature, but it is getting a bit cold now. But anyway, um, like I was saying, lost track of thought. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, just your, your typical online uh, online stuff like dropshipping, SMMA, that type of stuff. You've probably heard of it all before. Anyway, I'm going to go back in. I'll see you guys at the next part of the video. Probably be at the gym. Hey, so ignore this massive fucking pimple thing. Um... As I said in the last clip, I am going to, you know, while I'm waiting for a response from my business partner, I'm going to just work on like a small online side hustle. And that might be the main business. If, if, if something happens, that might end up being my main business because I have two backups. So I, I, actually, I don't know what side hustle I want to get into. I'm still kind of researching. Um, I think what I might do is I've really thought about it, right? I have thought about it. And I think what I might potentially do, it might be a bit stupid, they call it gold, uh, what is it, what do they call it? Um, shiny or gold, not gold, sorry, shiny object syndrome, where you kind of chase things. Um, and I don't, I don't, this is why I'm not sure if I want to go down this route, but what I'm thinking of doing is learning two business skills and see which one. So I'm thinking doing some form of day trading uh, well, I know it can be risky, but I'm going to really research and make sure it's the right right thing. If I am going to go, go down the pathway of day trading. Um, but the thing with day trading, it's not really a business. It's, it's more, or a side hustle, it's more just a a money-making skill. So, uh, so that's why I want to investigate and potentially learn that. Because it could be the best skill to make. It can be one of the best skills you, you need to make money. Um, so I want to investigate that. And then I'm gonna look at look into also some type of side hustle, um, whether it be something like affiliate marketing, drop shipping, agency AI, something like uh, sorry AGI, AI agency sorry, something along those lines. But yeah, anyway, I'm a uh, I don't even know who TGR is, but I'm I'm looking at his boot camp now, and I'm gonna go through that for the next hour or two and just kind of lock in and learn what I need to learn and m maybe do day trading and something else. But obviously, I think the goal should be focused on one thing at a time. That way I don't get shiny object syndrome. I definitely will just focus on one at a time. 
but I'm gonna do some research on one, see if it's see if it's worth looking into doing dropshipping first, or should I get a, I mean day trading first, and then if not, maybe looking at a business first, getting some money up, and then looking into that. Once I've got the business up and running, then looking to that as a skill. Um, and I think that's probably the better option, but we'll see. I'm 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 looking at day trading first. Okay, so what I've learned so far is getting a better understanding of, hang on, two seconds, of uh, candlesticks in the stock market. Now, before, just a bit of context, when I was a little bit younger, I've, you know, looked into day trading, investing. I'm sure some of you guys watching this video probably have as well. Um, and I'm going into this with a blank state, going with the I know nothing, Watching TGR, I don't know if you know, you guys, if you don't know who he is, he's one of the biggest um, influencers in the um, day trading, um, you know, community. Anyway, he's got a boot camp, a free boot camp online you can watch on YouTube, where he goes through everything and gives you a good example of what everything looks like. And he's, for those who don't know what the candlesticks look like, he's explained these and how to understand what these look like and um, good pairs and stuff. So you can see up here, I've got the cheat sheet up, what he recommended. Is it this is all shit besides from this this row here? This is what we're focusing on. So yeah, I'm just taking his advice and just understand. I'm not making any trades, I'm not using any money yet. I'm just I'm just getting a good understanding on the market and how to use candlesticks. I'm gonna give you guys like an example of what I've so far learned. I'm still very new and I don't really understand it. I'm trending over the Apple because gold currently live, so I don't want you guys to get you guys lost. This is Apple, so you know it's cl they've closed for business. You know, for now, like the market, when it closed, I mean, like the market stopped for Apple at the moment. It will back, it'll go back up tomorrow. Um, uh, whenever the market opens, their time. But anyway, this is this was you know today's market. Um, near the end of the near the end of the day, right? So I'm gonna give you an example of what I've learned, what I learned today from TGRs boot camp so look for things because they're called doji so these little small wicks there's one there there's one there and looking at the and and things and hammers so dojis and hammers right so this is a hammer that's a doji so we can and understanding how, uh, what i can how to how to look at the candlestick so the candlestick being this is the candle and that's the wick from a candle that's what i call the candlestick this ad anyway so we can see with this hammer here that the candle, although it went in the negative, so price would have opened here because it's from the candlestick before. Yeah, uh, this is where it opened, closened, and so it would it open. This is where because it because it's decided to open the negative, it's opened here. Well, it, it closed in the negative, so it would have opened here. It's tried to go on up and but failed. So it and then ended up it ended up closing here and it's gone it actually went a little bit under, so essentially the the wick is essentially how it is how TGL described is like a snail trail which like shows where the price went but it couldn't close at that range, it closed and then the body is where it fully closed. Anyway, if you can see though it tried to go up here so it's pushed it's pushing up here so it, there's potential for it to go there's good potential for it to go up here. And we can see as we go along. Uh, again, this was about equal. This one's gone up again. Yeah, now we're back in the green. This one's equal, and then we can see though it ends up with the, by end of the market close, it ends up at a high as it as it kind of predicted for us here. We can see here, boom, and then it's gone. I'll draw a line. Hang on. I'm, I am new to this, so bear with me. I think it's this one. So yeah, like I was saying, you can see here, this one goes, that's horrible, that that was, that wasn't like me, it was like getting somewhat controlled by the lines. But you can see, this one here says, it says that it tried pushing up, but it failed. But it, it shows that the negative momentum's on it coming to an end. What we see, that happens here, negative, oh, fuck, uh, let's delete that, can I do squiggly lines without, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, uh, but anyway, 
you can see this. I'm gonna try to draw. I try doing again. You see, boom. It's still we still seeing highs, 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 and then it comes like that and goes up like that, as you can see. And it's rep is that's represented by this line and this this wick and this wick are kind of like the free and even this one here. You can, you, I, I'm not gonna circle it. I'll circle it with my mouse. You can see this one slightly. This if I zoom in, I'll zoom in a little bit as well. Sorry, this is difficult. That's, that's what I'm gonna get. But you can kind of see that the wick is higher here than it is here. Slightly, it's slightly bigger. It's about the same height, but it's slightly higher. What indicates these, especially this one, but this, this one and this one, but especially this one, indicate that it's gonna go up. That it's tried going up, and based on the small wick down here. Because the wicks kind of tell you everything. It's based on this a small wick here. It's on all three of them all having smaller wicks. It's showing that that the downwards direction is coming to an end. What we see, it ends here. It does drop again here, but it mainly goes down and it comes all the way back up. Where and then close of market uh, market closes for uh, Apple's market closes at uh, in the green and high in the green as well. So if you essentially you would, I mean, I'm still new to this, so I don't know exactly if you would do this exact thing that I'm telling you. Bloody ads. Um, but essentially, from what I've, from what I do know, is, where is it? Probably here. You would see something like this. And uh, you would see something. You would see something like this, kind of indicating that it hit a high. So you would probably buy. You'd probably buy on this one. You'd probably get a little bit. If you're new to the market, you'd probably get a little bit of a heart attack when it drops. That when, when it drops, then it comes back up, and then you would, you know, you would close and sell again at the top here. So you would close and sell. Here, pretty much. So that's what we are. That would be where we would end it. We, we would want to ride the wave to, essentially. But yeah, that's what I've learned so far. It's making a bit more sense than the research I've done when I was younger. Uh, TGR, if you want to learn day trading, TGR is definitely the guy to learn from. What's up, YouTube? Uh, today's a good day. Finally managed to organize a meeting with my friend Nathan, my business partner, and we're meeting up now. You should be here any minute now. And yeah, we're going to do, talk about business and officially start the beat business I was talking about like weeks ago. Here's Big Man. How's it going? Big, big business. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to do a drop off some few vouchers and do a meeting. Yeah, let's see how it goes. That's it. Okay, so I forgot to record footage of handing out uh, vouchers, but they are all handed out. Uh, Nathan went one direction, I went the other direction, and yeah. Uh, fortunately, I'm a bit exhausted because uh, I had to walk uphill, so no, it wasn't fun. Oh well, who cares? Job done, uh, and hopefully we get some clients in the next couple of days. What is up, YouTube? Um, another day, and I am currently three days in to a three-day water fast. So all I've had for the last three days is water, salt. So and creatine and this is what my physique looks like i'm still technically fasting i haven't broke it yet but i'm gonna break it this afternoon so yeah this is what the current physique looks like not much difference a little bit leaner but there's not that much difference in the leanness i've got to show you the back so i'll show you i'll show you that now My fast, my boy Ed. Yeah, so.
what is up youtube i'm looking dusty at the moment i am desperate for a haircut i'm gonna get this thursday so i'll be all right but um first i'm trying the mr beast feastable chocolate he's on the competition so i figured perfect time to try it get an entry maybe win a lambo so yeah anyway let's uh i'll, I'll give you guys a review the ship break um but it's one 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 normal size square let me let me tell you It's not bad, it just tastes like normal, normal. I mean, I mean, I got the traditional milk chocolate, so I can't, I can't really go wrong with that, but it just tastes like, you know, normal chocolate. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.